Hey, hey everyone. I am still recovering from this knee sprain <laughs> that I have. It's still holding me back, but I just wanted to give you some content still. So today we're going to look at the fashion mansions of DC. Um, last two weeks we were at uh, Perry Belmont House uh, for Durdu's New York Fashion Week presentation and Lars Anderson House for the behind the scenes of uh, Stan Leone's uh, photo shoot for their new for his new line. So everybody else was asking me, do, why don't you let us know about some fashion mansions, other fashion mansions that you've been to? So I've decided to share some of my favorite fashion shows all behind the scenes photo shoots at amazing locations uh, while I uh, recover <laughs> from this knee sprain. So we're going to go all over DC and go behind the scenes at these fabulous locations. And I really hope that you enjoy it. And uh, so uh, here we go, you know, to take a walk through some luxurious mansions with me and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe enjoy So we're going to start with Perry Belmont House, a beautiful mansion in the DuPont Circle neighborhood of DC. It is a gorgeous mansion that you have seen very many times here on Hamalam TV because lots of fashion shows have occurred there. And the very first fashion show that I got to go to was when our good friend Stardew invited us to uh, preview their uh, collection that they were going to show at LA Fashion Week. And of course, you'll see the You've seen the uh, full collection and the full fashion show uh, at Century Fashion Week. So um, Perry Belmont House was uh, built for a, a five-term congressman from New York, Perry Belmont, and his heiress wife, uh, Jessie. And uh, you got to see the uh, a beautiful tour of it um, la two weeks ago uh, for uh, Durdu's Dur New York Fashion Week presentation and so I'm going to link below because the wonderful administrator Larry Van Weigel who is a great supporter of Hamlam TV as well as fashion in the DC area um, he does a beautiful presentation and talks about the history of it and now today uh, Perry Belmont House is the headquarters for the gen gra general grand chapter of the Order of the Eastern Star. So definitely check it out and also check out other fashion shows that I've been to at Perry Belmont. So we're going to stay in DuPont Circle and we're going now to Lars Anderson House. It's another beautiful Beaux-Arts style mansion in the heart of uh, uh, DC 
it was a mansion that was built for Lars Anderson and his wife Isabel. Lars Anderson was an American diplomat and it is now the headquarters of the Society of the Cincinnati and a museum that's open for the public. So you saw it uh, recently for uh, the behind the scenes for Stanley on clothing. Let me show you the finished product for that and also uh, the last in-person fashion show that I was able to go to which highlighted Ukrainian fashion. Enjoy! <laughs> circle and we're going to the Meridian Hill area of DC uh, to the Josephine Butler Park Center a revival style mansion that is now named after Josephine Butler Parks a trailblazer and a DC statehood activist and this beautiful mansion uh, the last time that I was there was for an event for BET where they were premiering some of Tyler Perry's shows and uh, now it is an, a venue that uh, hosts weddings and is the uh, office for Washington Parks and People. Enjoy the last fashion show that I went to for Models Inc.
did you know that DC has a castle? <laughs> well, it's nicknamed the castle. It's the Smithsonian Institution Building, and it's near the National Mall in DC. It's close to the uh, National Museum of African Art and the Sackler Gallery, and is a Norman Revival style castle, and it houses the administrative offices and the information center. It has beautiful gardens, and I was very, very proud to be one of the, um, part of the uh, first events that were allowed in there for DC Now events, uh, all purple galas. So enjoy the fashion show by Indie Fashion Week. So we are staying in DC and we are moving to Georgetown. We are going to Tudor Place, a federal period architecture style mansion located in Georgetown. And it was home to Martha Washington, our first first ladies. Um, it has six generations of her descendants. Unfortunately, it was also home to enslaved people, but rather than shy away from that history, they choose to uh, educate people on it. And I appreciate that. And that's why I fe chose to feature them here. Now, Step after Africa, which is a dance troupe that combines uh, South African gumboot style dancing as well as stepping. When they wanted to have, have celebrate their anniversary, they uh, called on two of our friends, designers, and uh, they uh, did a wonderful photo shoot for Washington Life magazine. So I wanted to highlight Step Africa. I wanted to highlight A4 Sam and Amaya Leonche as well as Washington Life magazine and Tudor Place. Okay, I know I said DC, but how about DC adjacent? Okay, I'm gonna take you to Loudoun County, Virginia, to uh, this beautiful mansion owned by Kitty Omar, who is a supporter of a great supporter of Hamelam TV, and she owns the beautiful Platinum Weddings and Decor Mansion. Um, it is a wonderful events and wedding space uh, located in Sterling, Virginia. The last time that I was there in person was for the uh, launch fashion show and gala for Felicia's Fund. Uh, with a, another great supporter of Hamelam TV, uh, designer Vivian of Anya by Vivian, where I got to hang out with the Real Housewives. And you know, she, uh, Vivian is a designer to the stars. Well, recently she had an IG Live where she showed us behind the scenes of the photo shoot for her new bridal collection. So I wanted to share her new fabulous bridal collection. I need you to go in ahead and support Geeti and go in ahead and support Vivian and enjoy this behind the scenes look at the new bridal collection from Anya by Vivian. So keeping in the theme, we're going to stay in Virginia <laughs> to a, pri a beautiful private residence where um, Irina of uh, Mila Fashion had a 
photo shoot at this gorgeous private residence uh, for a magazine and I will put a link to the photo shoot below but uh, enjoy the uh, um, behind the scenes and the photos at this gorgeous private residence. <music> I couldn't forget Marilyn, so we are going to go uh, to the launch of our good friend Brittany Christina's collection. She uh, recently uh, launched her bridal collection and uh, she had a photo shoot and the launch at a private residence in Marilyn. So enjoy! <laughs> 